All right, so we're getting ready to go here now to the bottom of the fifth inning, game tied at one. Hopefully, if you miss anything, we do have the inning by inning highlights or, or segments posting on our on Bakersfield.com in the sports section. Just look for live updates, and you'll find all of the uh, inning by inning. Trying to get some highlights out there as well. I haven't been a lot. I missed the home run, unfortunately. We'll have to post that later uh, in my recordings that I'm doing. But uh, John Farrand, our our guy, has uh, got it. Our producer has got it. We'll show that to you later on. But we do just posted uh, Alec Hansen's strikeout, his fifth strikeout of the game. Here for uh, OU, we come back here in the bottom of the fifth. So anybody can watch this game. Just go to Biggershield.com on your computer or your mobile device, and um, you can check out this game. So Deaton, Fraley, and Metzger. Deaton, we mentioned before, out of uh, Frontier High School. Deaton. Fouled out to left field his first at bat, singled, stole a base, and scored a run in the third inning. Bakersfield's only run at this point. Swings through the first pitch. No balls on a strike. 1-1 one, one here, bottom of the fifth inning. Both starting pitchers are still in, both pitching very well. It's been a terrific game here so far, the pitch. And inside for a strike. 0-2 now. The nice curve. Another again, good breaking ball. He's had that pitch working very well tonight. O2 delivery, check, check swing, swing and yeah, check no it. swing. Nope. That was Easily that was held up. We can tell back here the catcher uh, asking for a little bit of help there, Dorenzo, but uh, clearly no swing. One ball, two strikes now on Christian Deaton, the, the Roadrunners left fielder. The uh, pitch down and low in the dirt. Dorenzo boxes it around a little bit, flips it back to Hansen. Even in the count, two balls, two strikes. Dustin Fraley, the normal starting center fielder, who's been a designated hitter each of the last two games, is in, on deck. The next pitch, strike three call. That oh, slow curveball. Again, he's gotten that pitch over for strike three at least five times tonight. Six strikeout for Alex Hansen here. Two in a row now. Six strikeouts, but five of them, I think, have been on that slow curveball breaking, you know, uh, you know, just nice. Chris Sharp, breaking ball. Fraley the batter now. He takes that same pitch for strike one called. So I feel like Alec Hansen is really kind of getting himself into a nice little rhythm here in the middle innings. He's been sharp for the last, uh, you know, most of the game with that. And the, that pitch has really helped him out. Next, uh, fastballs. That one's clocked at 97. That's the hardest yeah. one of the night I've yeah. seen on the clock. Fraley the... Uh, Junior outfielder out of Mount San Antonio College. Came into the game with a 460 batting average. He's now this at bat, he's down oh, malls and two strikes. There's the 0-2 delivery, high fastball. He's still bringing it, that was at 96. One ball, two strikes. David Metzgar, the Roadrunner's number three hitter and second baseman is on deck. Haley, Hanson that is, and his windup. Fouled straight Fouls back. back. Another 96 fastball, challenged him. Yeah, we're talking about Dorenzo hitting the home run in the third inning to lead off things in the third inning for the, the Sooners. One and two to count now. Yeah, Brad was breaking ball. was bounced off of Fraley's left foot, I think. He's kind of uh, getting a little inventory behind the plate. They're not, uh, you know, they're not afraid of him. Not at all. No, you know you, you know you can't be afraid. You can't afford to be afraid of him. I don't care if it's uh, Steven Strasburg back right. in the day when he was at San Diego yeah. State. They did pitch. They did face San Diego State that year, but they didn't face Strasburg. Here's the pitch. He fouled just past Justin Roberts, the first base coach for the the Roadrunners. One ball, two strikes. Now the count on Dustin Fraley. Trying to get on for Metzger, and then Max Carter behind him. The, the numbers three and four hitters. Here's Hanson into his windup. The one-two delivery. Close pitch. Oh, man, Fastball. A little bit too high there. Yeah, I think that's what the umpire said. But I not a big strike zone there on on Fraley. I would suggest that Mr. Fraley not take one that close next time. Does it, even the count of two and two. Hanson working quickly goes into the motion. Curveball. Same pitch as he's been getting on the strike. That one's hung up a little high. 
that even that makes it a full count. Three balls and two strikes. Fraley out of the batter's box now. Steps back in. Hanson ready to go. Here's the 3-2 delivery to Fraley. Curveball high. So Fraley reaches. So he's reached for the second time. Has only had one official at bat when he struck out in the third. He was hit by a pitch in the first and then just threw this walk. Metzger coming up. He's single and walked. Left at third in the third inning. Uh, and add to the three hits he had last night. He's been on base five times in the series so far, and we're yeah, only in the absolutely. fifth inning of game two. He's starting to come on offensively. He's a little bit slow starting earlier, but he's up. He started the series hitting 290, so he's uh, he has led Cal State Bearsfield in batting each of his first two seasons with the runners, and uh, this is his junior year. Quiet, soft-spoken, solid player. You know, Fraley again with the groin problem. I don't think he's going to get much of a lead over there. I don't think I'll s we'll see him run in this series. Hansen into steps off the rubber now. Metzger also out of the box. Should be good, good to go here momentarily. Hansen into a stretch, takes a glance at first. Here's the first pitch to Metzger. Bluffs a bunt, ball fun. off the glove. Oh. Of Dorenzo, but not you, far you enough. You can see, Jeff, on that one, you know, Fraley, you know, just kind of was tentative and, and seemed almost gingerly in his uh, trying to get off the, the base pass when he, when he saw that the ball kind of go get loose. It took three steps, but yeah. then stopped. And again, uh, and it didn't look like he was comfortable. Yeah, I, again, I think you got to be careful with him. You don't want to have an aggravation of that injury. 1 0 count on Metzger. Throw back over to first. Fraley dies back in, but it wasn't that close. Mesker looking down at first at third base coach Bob Macaluso, see if anything's on. Bunning, hit and run. Hanson stretches, looks at first, comes to the plate. Ball's high, high again, 2-0. Oh. They've checked the first base side, said no swing. Lorenzo out there now to have a little chat with Hanson. Pitch that, one, yeah, the pitch next 100. pitch will be the 100th pitch. I was just and thinking uh, about that, and then the indispensable Matt Turk saying, "Pitch 100." What geniuses think alike. There is bullpen. There is action down in the Oklahoma bullpen. Right. You don't want to burn him out too early in the season, you know. So I'm, he might be on a bit of a pitch count. This might. This could be toward the end of the, his outing here. Two a count. He comes to the plate. Outside ball three. Three and zero. Oh. Metzger bluffing a bunt. Pulling the bat back, taking all the way. And he did have to work hard in, in the fourth inning. Threw a lot of pitches. 3-0 <coughs> oh count here. <laughs> Metzger will, He's in all likelihood, be at least taking one here. The pitch. Board right down the middle, a 95-mile-hour fastball. Three balls and one strike now. Again, if Fraley was 100% healthy, you might see him take off on a hit and run here on a 3-1 yeah. count. Good count to run on, but again, with the groin injury, I'm thinking that they're going to probably keep it pretty conservative. Hansen into a stretch, throws over to first. Fraley just a couple steps off the bag, dives back in easily. Middle infielders in double play position. Center fielder is sliced, a step slightly over to the right center a little bit. <coughs> Here's the pitch. Outside, outside, check swing by Metzger. Wild on that one, so he puts another man on. Two walks here now in the fifth, Jeff. Back-to-back so -back walks, and we talked earlier about how many walks uh, Alec Hansen had coming in, and that was only the first walk. And I think that uh, here comes the head coach. And he's bringing the infielders around this time. Pete Hughes is the head coach of Oklahoma. He's talking to Hanson. He hasn't made a signal yet to the bullpen. Of course, Hanson, six foot seven, towers over his head coach. He looks over to the bullpen, and that's it. He's, he's finished. So Alec Hanson, who showed a very good curveball and breaking ball, lost his command a little bit here in the bottom of the fifth inning and issued back to back walks with one out. 
The new pitcher for the Sooners is Ryan Madden. He's a freshman right-hander out of Westminster, Colorado. Take a look at his numbers this year. Madden this year has, this is his, his fourth appearance. He's 1-0 in six innings, has not allowed a run, given up three hits, struck out five with one walk. One thing that the Sooners have is a very good pitching rotation. They've shown that. Their numbers are all very solid. Came into the weekend with a 3.29 3.29 team earned run average. The first hitter that uh, Madden will face is going to be the Roadrunners cleanup batter, Max Carter. Hansen went four and a third innings, allowed four hits, three walks, struck out six, allowed the one run, which is earned. He's also responsible for the two runners on at this time. So run runners here have a chance to uh, try to take the lead. Is up to Madden to try to keep his streak going. As last night, the uh, Oklahoma used a, an outstanding pitcher, J.B. Olson, who also came in without allowing a run this year, and the runners did touch him for a, a run, but uh, that was not enough to win that game. Well, Max Carr is now in the batter's box, ready to go here. Madden touches. Looks at second, now steps off the rubber. And now his catcher, Dorenzo, goes out to have a chat with him. They want to make sure they're on the same page. Carter now steps, is out of the batter's box. Middle infielder is in double played position. Outfielder, center fielder, Steel Walker slightly in the right center, a couple of steps. Outfitters are backed up deep. Here's the first pitch by Madden. Ball in the dirt. Knocked down by Dorenzo. Runners have to hold. One ball, no strikes. 1-1 one, one tie here, bottom of the fifth inning. Alec Hansen, the highly touted right-hander, has just been pulled out of the game. He's the starting pitcher for Oklahoma. Max Carter trying to do something with runners on first and second. The 1-0 delivery, swung on and missed. Pitch breaking down and in toward the inside corner. Even in the count of one ball and one strike. Carr looking down at third base coach Bob Macaluso. Doesn't look like anything's on play-wise. Madden looking in. He's into a stretch, takes a look at second base. Fraley takes a little bit of a lead off second. Here's the delivery. Ball hits Carter. Hits him on the left hand or arm, shaking it. That was a fastball about 90 miles an hour, boring in on him. Right fielder, number 22. Justin Roberts, the first base coach, is taking a look at him, making sure he's okay. That does load the bases. Runners have the base loaded now with one out. Second batter, they've been hit by a pitch this evening. And now it's Chance Guspeth. He's a hungry hitter right now. He came into the game hitting 196. Been a solid hitter here throughout his career at Cal State, but he is uh, in slow getting started this year. Bases loaded, 1-1 one, one tie here, bottom of the fifth. Golden opportunity for the Roadrunners. Here's the first delivery. Ball down and away, knocked down by the catcher, Dorenzo. Only bounced about 15 feet away from him. Fraley took a couple of steps home and thought better of it. One ball, no strikes. Roadrunners, golden opportunity here. Bases loaded, one out, 1-1 one, one tie here, bottom of the fifth. Madden, the pitcher for the Sooners, is struggling with his control a little bit. Just hit Max Carter, load the bases. That pitch was well outside and down. He's into his windup. The 1-0 delivery. High with a fastball. 2-0. Just talking to the, uh, the mafia of parents down there on the uh, first base side. Stephen G, who was a starting pitcher last night, his dad, telling me that his son had some soreness in his right uh, forearm. So he took himself out of the game. Seems to be okay now. Here's a 2-0 delivery, swung on, line oh, drive, base hit, right center field. 
Fraley comes to the score. Here comes Metzger. He's going to go to th throw wow. to third, and the runner at third is Got thrown it. out. Yep. But the runners do score. Max Carter's thrown out, trying to go first to third. But two runs score on the base hit by Chance Gusbeth. That gives the Roadrunners a three to one lead. Third baseman. Solid line drive single lining over the second baseman's head. Following up on what your Stephen G comment, last night he threw that pitch where his spikes caught and he, you, he used his pitching hand to brace the fall. He fell very awkwardly. And the following inning he said the arm spasmed on him and he right. thinks that was the reason. And then uh, he said after the game he thought he would be fine. Of course his next scheduled start, if he's okay health wise, will be probably the opener against Seattle a week from tonight. The head coach now for Oklahoma is coming back out. And they've already signaled to the bullpen. So we're going to have our second reliever, third pitcher of the inning for the Sooners. Gusbeth with that clean single to right center field, knocks in two runs. And we have a three to one Bakersfield lead here in the fifth inning. Carter thrown out nine, six, five, I believe. Looks like next pitcher for the Sooners. Looks like it's number 28 is the number. Sean Hunter, a left-hander, senior out of Fort Supply, Oklahoma. Left-hander is coming in to face Ryan Grotejohn. So a lefty versus lefty matchup here. So Madden uh, does not retire a batter. He hits, he actually he got a, he got a third of an inning because of a, the base running uh, throw, you know, with uh, Max Carter thrown out trying to go first to third on the base hit. Those two runs do belong to Alec. Hansen, the starter for Oklahoma, who came into the game with an 0-3 record. Now he will be on the hook for the loss if the Sooners are unable to catch up or go ahead. So let's take a look at Mr. Mo uh, Mr. Uh, Hunter, Sean Hunter. He's 0-1-1 in four appearances, giving up one run in two and two-thirds innings. That's a 3.38 earned run average. Issued one walk, no strikeouts. Probably a situational left-hander, meaning he'll come in and face maybe just one or two batters. So the Roadrunners trying to earn their first ever win over the Sooner baseball program. Still got a long way to go on this one, and the bullpen for the for, uh, for the Roadrunners has been their Achilles heel this year, so nothing set in stone. Okay, Grochon now steps into the batter's box against Sean Hunter. Gusbeth is at first base, got a good lead. Throw over there, he just, just a cursory toss, he just quickly steps back on the bag. That was not Sean Hunter's best move. Cautious lead for Gus Smith at first. Another easy throw over there. Again, not the best move for Hunter. You can hear the Roadrunner dugout yelling, you know, back, you know, whenever the pitcher starts to make his motion to the first. Hunter now looking at first. As it throws back over to first, again, that's three attempts in a row. Did a little bit of a different look there on that move, but uh, nothing, uh, nothing fancy. This time he comes to the plate. Breaking ball, high and away, 1-0. Definitely a, a very big change in rhythm and tempo here now that Alec Hansen has gone out of the game for the Sooners. Well, it makes sense. He was in a rhythm and really was moving, working quickly. And now that uh, there's guys on base, a little bit more deliberate. Yep. Now Hunter looks at first, comes to the plate on the 1-0 pitch. That one's at look outside. Well, it's Two a sidewinder side action there on the left-hander. Yeah, well, I tell you what, Jeff, you and I have been touching knees so much, we're going to have to go out on a date or something <laughs> at some point. I don't know. It's been crazy. 
could brush up against you all day long here. Kind of packed in here. It's all right, though. It's a beautiful night in Bakersfield. Next pitch is again outside, 3-0 and count. Grok John looks down at third base coach Bob Macaluso to see if he might get the green light to swing 3-0. and My, uh, Malik Jones, the shortstop, right-handed batter is on deck. Here's the 3-0 pitch. It's outside corner. Yeah, got it. Looked like it was outside, but <coughs> the umpire rung up strike one. So we're at 3-1. I would have called it a ball, but there you go. What do I know? 3-1 and one count. A little bigger lead this time by Guspeth at first. Snap throw to first. Guspeth stand back standing. Three and one the count. Grote John looking to try to put the ball in play. Here comes the three one pitch. That one was on the outside corner. Strike two called. That was a better looking pitch than the previous one. Full count. That means that Guspeth will be running on this pitch with two outs. Full count. Three to one Bakersfield, bottom of the fifth. Here's the three-two pitch. is swung on and slash foul right over, right, the, right in over the o Oklahoma dugout and into the Burm area where a lot of fans are. Didn't hit anybody. Yeah, definitely. A couple uh, of guys playing catch out there. One guy made a nice one-handed play on the play. Big CSB contingent down there in those berms. I was down on the right over here at first base, right field side, and there's a lot of the dads uh, down there. Here's the three-two pitch. Swung on chopper right to short. Two hopper. Noisy has it, bobbles it momentarily, recovers in easily, throws him out at first, and that ends the inning. But the runners do score a pair of runs. Chance Gus was two runs single following a pair of walks. Gives Baker 